Alright guys, we have a super exciting episode here today. Game 1 is going to be a result you guys typically don't see on this channel. Game 2, we are playing the Trash Talker, man. You guys seem to love my uh, my Broncos Sim Series episode early on. We played the teacher who was the Jets. We had the scheduling conflict. A lot of drama with that one, man. A lot of trash talking. Very similar situation here against the Cowboys in our Colts franchise. But before we do that, man, I want to thank you guys so much. First, for the birthday wishes. Yesterday was my birthday. A lot of you guys left comments on my Friday video. So thank you guys for that. And then also, thank you guys for 40,000 subscribers, man. Our channel has been growing. And obviously, it's all thanks to you guys. We're trying to hit 50K before Madden 23. I don't know if it's going to be possible. You guys can do me a big favor, though. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And with that being said, man, let's go ahead and jump into the episode. All right, guys, welcome back to week 10 of our Colts Fantasy Draft CFM series. We're taking on the 6-2 Cleveland Browns. Now, if you guys remember season one playoffs, we played the Browns in the divisional round. It was an absolutely electric game. One of the best games I've played all year. I'm expecting nothing different here. Week 11, we take on the commissioner, the Raiders we lost to in the championship. We have a lot of very exciting games coming up, but I'm only focused on this one, man. Let's go ahead. Do some upgrades, check out his roster, jump into the game, and move on to 8-1. Now, this is actually going to be our first game with Zach Wilson having Gunslinger, man. I'm absolutely stoked. Why did I say that word? Who the heck? Who the heck says stoked anymore? Plus one throw power, though. 97 outside of speed. That is probably the best thing you can see for your quarterback. 97 throw power. He's got the Gunslinger ability, man. Like I said, I'm stoked. I'm stoked to see Zach Wilson perform with our new Gunslinger ability, man. It's going to help him with those deep passes. Getting that ball off against the Blitz. Oh, Jamudia. I'm pronouncing his name right. I'm pretty sure. Plus three man coverage. Plus one press. I think I finally got it right. His man coverage is pretty low. I can't lie. We're definitely trying to bump that up just a little bit. Owen Papapoe. Papapoe. Sounds Italian, man. Jamar Chase, really the last notable upgrade right here. So we'll go ahead. We'll upgrade his deep threat. Give me some speed, man. Give me some speed with Jamar Chase. A lot of upgrades here. Agility, catching, deep route running, release, catching traffic. We'll take that. That's some nice upgrades. I'm meant to auto upgrade the rest of those guys, but I already skipped by it. I'm not going back, man. Let's go ahead. Check out the Browns roster. All right, Browns roster here. It's going to be similar to last season. DeAndre Hopkins, Thielen at tight end, Buda Baker with abilities, Deshaun Watson, one of the best quarterbacks in CFM, Kevin Byard, Devontae Smith, 92 speed, William Jackson, superstar Gibson, a lot of abilities here on this roster but again we have a lot of abilities as well our roster is absolutely loaded i can't make any excuses anymore i mean i guess i can complain about not having escape artist which is probably the best ability ever in madden but i have gunslinger now i just can't if i make any excuses just tell me i'm an idiot all right tell me i suck in the comments below but no more complaining man no more making excuses we had everything we need to make a super bowl run it starts right here in week 10 against the browns let's go ahead knock it out We're around open. Oh, yeah. He's slinging that thing. He's slinging it right now. Run him. Oh, man. We got to run him over, man. He got rid of that so quick. Yes, sir. Dude, there is such a huge difference. I've been playing with Pass Lead Elite and Madden Ultimate Team and everything forever. It's so nice having a quarterback with Gunslinger. I mean, I feel spoiled. I don't even want to get used to this. Oh, I think we were going to have the, the post route open, unfortunately. I think he just ran into someone else in the end zone. That was nice defense from my opponent. He's kind of just giving me the flats here. I'm going to try to take advantage of him not playing the flats very aggressively with Mike Williams underneath on a drag. Can we fall forward for the first? The ball cross, man. That's what I'm talking about, ref. Great ball placement. Great job, ref. Congratulations on doing your job correctly. I'm proud of you. All right, listen, I have human joystick and tank now. If he shoots the gap, I'm jumping over him. <laughs> okay, maybe I shouldn't have done that. No way he shoots that gap right there. I'm snapping it, baby. We're getting in here, too. We're getting in here, too. I promise. 
Yes, what a high from Jonathan Taylor. Come on, man. He actually had a great grab shoot with his user, but because we dive holding the square button right there, we just get over top of him. We're in the end zone. It wasn't the prettiest drive. We probably should have thrown a pick on that slant route to Baker in the end zone, but listen, we're playing Madden, baby. You drop picks. You drop picks. Sometimes you get lucky. Most of the times I don't, but I did right there, so I'll take it. That's just great defense right there, baby. Great defense. Hey, look alive. Whoever, whoever that receiver is in the flat, look alive, man. Oh, yeah. We had, we had a party in the backfield right there. Oh, what a spin move. Oh, come on, man. That's just too much time. Like, that's a great read. That's a nice stop for my opponent. But he sent all five people out, had all day to make that read, and I blitzed. Blitz is not coming in for a strip side end, man. We might have to adjust the defense. Can I get a leapfrog on my running back in CFM? I don't think you can. I wish you could, though, because that's definitely the ability I would use. I'll run every play. I got Jonathan Taylor, baby. We haven't really given him enough touches this season. And we got human joystick last week, which I don't even think really works, but we're going to use it regardless. Oh, my God. Davenport's too quick. I should have just kept running. I should have just kept running, man. That was my fault. I'm getting a little too cute with it. He can't stop it. He's running a lot of match coverage right now. Not really blitzing a lot. He blitzes here. I have Noah Fant wide open. Noah Fant breaks the tackle up to the 35. Nice dot right there. Again, we don't have Gunslinger. We don't we don't get that ball off in time. That's what I'm talking about. Zachary? Mm, I need that post to get open, man. I need that post to get open right there, baby. Again, a lot of mass coverage. I could see him blitzing here for sure. I could also see him not blitzing. <laughs> I don't know if there's anything in between. Probably not. What I do see is a def what I do see is one of my wide receivers between the defenders. All right. I feel like he was open. Maybe not. Maybe he's too close to the end zone. I don't know what the what the problem was, but that's not good. That's that's very bad. All right. Now we're down to stop. I mean, come on. Come on. I mean, we're in a hard flat, bro. What do you want me to do? Oh, that's a pick. Oh, I think if that's accurate, that's a pick, man. And Debo was following him really well right there. I stopped at Thielen, man. I got stuck. Ah. Uh, I'm going to run commit. He's trying to make this the last drive of the game, so. Or the the last drive of the half, I should say. Excuse me. I just make this tackle. I run. <laughs> this is this is the state of Madden 22, man. Dude throws a dot and runs 20 yards backwards. Uh, I wish I didn't waste my two timeouts earlier. This hurts. Just let him get in. Oh, just let him get in, man! What is that? Oh, this is not good, man. Mar Gardner, that's a crazy cage right there, man. Mmm, yes, sir. Great defense, K Mac. Try my boy Sauce Gardner. Okay, so human joystick is not nearly as good as it was last year, but I can, I think I can tell a difference. I think I can tell a difference. Going up top again. 
I'm gonna give Jamar Chase redemption. Oh, he did not get open. Oh, Jamar Chase. What are we doing here, buddy? Ah, uh, we have him in the middle of the field. I can make that read earlier. Dang, dude, Jamar Chase is in a Snuggie right now. What do I do against uh, match coverage? That's a great find, Jamar Chase. That's a great find. Man. This is kind of caging me right now. Hold on. What do I do against this? There we go. Come on, Mike. Come on, Mike. Come on, Mike. There we go. We got to just audible around a little bit. Figure it out. I've played Matt's a million times, but maybe he's doing something different to it. That was good defense. We just figured it out right there on that play. Audibling to tight. 14-14, man. One more stop. He doesn't like this over G. We switched it up a little bit on him. Probably a defense he hasn't seen this year, and it's got him uncomfortable. I'm going to be honest. Oh, come on. He's double juking right into a hit stick. Let me clean him. Let me clean him. Ah, uh, no safety in the middle of the field right there. You got to keep him in the pocket, man. Dang. Bad defense. I mean, I had him, I, I mean, it's just frustrating. Jamar Chase, way faster than Bayard. Had him beat, lit up on the route. Maybe just not enough juice on the, th like, I don't, I don't know, man. Did he not, did he have him beat or did he not have him beat? It looked like he did. I don't know if Jamar Chase is trash or if Zach Wilson just can't throw it, dude. I think it might be Jamar. That's a heart flat, man. Come on. Like, like, how is DeAndre Hopkins 90 speed cooking my 94 speed corner like that, but Jamar Chase can't beat Bayard? How, make it make sense, man. On the same route, too. We have to fight our way back into this game. I mean, who wants to beat their man? It's just, it's not Chase. It's not Chase. I just get instantly shot right there, man. Oh, this is all bad, dude. What a dot. That was almost a really bad animation. He, like, went backwards on it. Oof, that was close. Nice lays. Needed that one badly to stay in the game. Ah. <sighs> My quarterback wouldn't move. I tried to scramble out of there. Oh, man. What a frustrating game, dude. Wow. I mean, this dude, Byard, is the best ever. We actually had it open. Byard is just, he's too good. He made play after play after play after play this game. That was insane. Dude! I mean, he, dude, like, it just goes right through my hands, bro. I'm just, I'm just done with this game today, dude. Just silly.
I mean, perfect defense. Just throws it right to my guy. Puts his hands up. Gets the freaking T-Rex arms again. Uh, That's the most bagged I've ever been in my life. All right. Well, I mean, I just got bagged. I mean, I like I said, I've played match a million times. Usually the answer is that backside post, but Jamar Chase just really could get no separation whatsoever against anybody. Um, I mean, I tried double slants, double crossers, post. <laughs> I honestly don't know. I think I got to hit my running back on wheels. I think we got to take drags. We can just run the ball a lot. Um, I mean, honestly, I don't, I don't know. We could just audible more too. I've never seen that. Like he just, maybe it's, I'm used to hitting that backside post and he was just running backed off match coverage. And uh, yeah, I don't know. That was just, uh, I was just good defense. Tough game, but at least we, at least that happens now. And instead of the playoffs, I mean, we still have a chance to get the one seed pretty easily in the AFC. We're still tied for the best record. Although we will lose the head to head with him right there. Um, yikes. I mean, tough game. Ha haven't had one of those in a while. All right, guys, welcome back to season two, week 12 of our Colts fantasy draft, the CFM series. This is not a normal week. We're taking on the seven and three Cowboys which is exciting in and of itself. We're playing a decent opponent here, but I'm gonna be honest, this guy was sassy in the Discord trying to schedule the game. Now, don't get me wrong, we've had our scheduling conflicts in the past. They're pretty far and in between. Usually, it's pretty easy to set up a game, right? I'm a pretty flexible guy, right? You know, I mean, I got a girlfriend, I got some things we do in real life, but again, I play Madden for a living. I can make any time work. Sometimes you get these guys with an attitude though. They're a little sassy, right? And they just, I don't know, maybe they're doing it for attention. Maybe they want to be on the YouTube, but this guy had a problem, man. This is a 48 hour advanced league and this guy was giving me trouble the night of. Like, dang, man, you gotta calm down, dude. You gotta calm down. Like I said, I'm flexible. I can play pretty much any time, but he was just itching to get ass beaten, I guess. So that's exactly what we're gonna do here, man. I called my shot. It's gonna be really embarrassing if we somehow manage to lose this game. And one last thing, you guys can actually see, this is literally the following week, or the following day, following week in Madden time. He actually did the exact same thing to T Hammer, who granted is a YouTuber. I thought he might've been just doing it to me though, for attention, just to be on the channel. And again, he literally hit me up the night of advance. And then again, the next morning, I was literally asleep the whole time. Like I slept in that day. I had gone skiing the day before and just spent the entire day driving the entire day on the mountain. So I passed out for like 11 or 12 hours. So this guy had a total mental breakdown and I literally hadn't even seen the messages throughout again, a 48 hour advance. So I think this guy's just really strange. He's just honestly a douche, just trying to be like really mean to people, which is honestly just really strange. I, I think this kid just needs a spanking from his mom. His mom didn't do a very good job of raising him. But uh, with that being said, let's go ahead, jump into the game. All right. <clears throat> We're going to win this game by any means necessary, even if it means we have to run the ball 35 times. If he's going to spread his defensive line and let me just run up the middle, that's exactly what we're going to do. I don't care if you have inside self on Cam Jordan. Nice gap shoot. Nice gap shoot, Greg. You have to show me you can stop inside zone before we run anything else. There you go. Yeah, shift that line, baby. Shift that line. Oh, we had a touchdown to circle. How did the... How did Carlat did Carlat the shed or did he come free? He he blew his coverage right there. We had a wide open tud. I was about to press the button. That would have been an awesome start. I'm gonna run the ball here. Oh, we almost got through right there. That would have been really really nice. Not the best spin up field. I really only spawned to try and change my direction a little bit better, but obviously that didn't work very well. Little dot, little dot, fourth and 14. Perfect, man, come on, Zach. Beautiful throw, baby, beautiful throw. Uh, this defensive line is screaming right now. Come on, boys, we gotta block a little bit better than this. This is not a blitz we haven't seen 25 times before. 
Yup. Oh, we got to run him over, though. I like it. Big first down pickup. JT, we're running hard this game, baby. We're running hard. You're getting a lot of touches. All right. We're just not blocking very well, man. We're just letting guys come off the edge for you. Like, come on, fellas. Come on, man. Nice patience. Only a two-man rush. We're going to have all day right there. Great patience from Zach. My offensive line is getting mauled right now. I mean, I know he's got Cam Jordan. He's a little bit old, though, man. He's got Karloftis, but yeah, we're not blocking too well this game, man. Oh, get through there. Did we get the first? I think we're a little bit short. I think we're a little bit short. Third and inches. Okay, that's fine. I like this look. We're an I form wing. He's got a slot corner the other side. Just need some good blocks, and we're into the end zone clinical first drive right there. We're not afraid to make it ugly, man. We're not afraid to run the ball. We got JT out there, superstar abilities. We need to utilize him. It's exactly what we do, and you know he's raging right now. You know he's fuming. He's like, oh my god, he's running the ball every play. Basically, exactly what I do when uh, when I play people like this. So you know, we're, we're getting the mental edge right now. We're getting him a little tilted, and now he's going to start forcing stuff on offense. And we're going to capitalize, because, again, the strength of this team is the defense. Come here. Where are you going? We're sending the heat, man. Can you deal with the pressure? Come here. Where are you going? You can't run like me. Make that tackle. Make that tackle. Come on. It gets real scary on fourth on your first set of downs. <laughs> bit of a guest pass, bit of a guest pass. We can live with that. <sighs> We're close. We're close. You don't like the pressure, man. Not one bit. Dang it, Wongu's quick. We got to make that tackle and make it fourth. He was throwing a pick. He was throwing a pick. Come on, man. Where you? Where, where you throwing it, Greg? Oh, come on, man. Throwing it right to me. We're all over that, bro. He has no huddled 19 times this drive. Like, if, if if we get a clean hit stick, he should be fumbling here. Holy smokes, dude. I mean, he had to work that drive. We'll take that. That was good defense, honestly. Short side fade. Like, I can live with that. I can live with that. I don't think human joystick. I think human joystick might be a waste of an ability. It doesn't really work, I don't think. Long coverage. Jamar Chase. Jamar Chase. Come on, baby. Come on, Greg. What type of defense is that? That's that's garbage, man. Are you serious? You're talking all this trash to play defense like that? Three touchdowns? Now it's time to get a stop, baby. Just one stop. It gets real ugly. I promise. We got to just get one. He's going to force something here. Oh my god, we inside quartered our safety, but Moore is just so fast. I actually did make the adjustment to stop that. I had no deep half or deep third on that side of the field since that's exactly what that route combo beats. I inside quartered my safety, but apparently it beats that too. Um, I was hoping for some pressure, but good blocking, nice dot. Can't really say too much about that. Just need to get pressure before he's able to sit, sit that long in the pocket and make that read. Yeah, I think human joystick's got to go. I don't. <laughs> I really don't think it does anything. Run him over, JT. Oh, we got to hold our blocks right there, boys, and we're out, I promise. 
I promise. That's Mike stay in bounds too. Let's use this timeout. It's perfect, perfect, perfect. What a dot. What a route too. Let's get in the end zone right here. Let's get in the end zone right here. I'm not gonna even worry about going down and wasting another one of his timeouts. We want this guy playing offense, bro. We want this guy playing offense. If we can limit the bombs and make him work down the field, he's going to make a mistake. We get in the end zone right there. Perfect drive. Playing some great offense right now. Come on, come up and hit this guy. Come up and hit him. Oh, he's spinning right into us. We gotta clock him, man. Come here. Come here. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. See if he uses his timeout. I maybe potentially could have called a timeout there too, but I mean again, offense is so easy in this game that I don't know if it's the right decision, honestly. All right. I mean, good half. He gets ball here, so this is, again, a pretty even game. But taking the lead into halftime in Madden 22 is, like, really all you can ask for. You're putting yourself in a big-time winning position. And like I said, he's just going for bombs now. He's a little bit tilted. You can kind of tell. He's playing just super aggressive defense, blitzing every single play. We're doing a great job countering that, playing conservative, running, 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 and then occasionally hit him with a big bomb play because, you know, he's selling out short. And then on defense, we're kind of just making him work. Like, he's just going for the bombs right now. We're sending the blitz. And as long as our pressure can get there, you know, we're going to put him in these, in these situations where it's third and long, fourth and long. And if sometimes we give up the bomb because he gets great blocking, then so be it. I'll be taking that. I'll be taking that off your hands, Greg. Blam. Mmm, AJ Terrell. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Yes, sir. Like, we're just getting shedded bad across the line. No, he's blitzing. Let's just get Jonathan Taylor involved in the pass game, too. Yes, sir. Clinical. 7 for 8, 188, and a touchdown. That's what I'm talking about. Better set up your defense, baby. You're on your D tackle? Baker. Oh, I tried to spin left. I wonder if Mike Williams is a touchdown in the situation, too. He was just... Because he got clicked on his D-tackle, he sent six. So I had to make a quick read right there. Dot, dummy. Dot, dummy. Play better... D I mean, you're garbage on defense, Greg. Talking all this trash to play defense like this? I struggle more in, like, game two a week in league, dude. Billy Bob with the 85 overall team calling ass Madden. Big nickel over G, dime two, three, six, Sam Will. Like, come on, dude. It's just terrible. It's embarrassing. Oh, we were just an inch short. I wonder if I hold triangle if we get an interception there. I'm going to be honest. I really think we might just because, I don't know. I didn't, I didn't hold triangle. Oh, that's pick. Oh man, that's a book. Oh man, he is throwing books. Where are you going? What are you throwing? No huddle it. Come on. Yup. <laughs> we got Stevie Wonder over here, bro. Quit out my game. See you later. Bye. Bye, Greg. Sorry. Thing is, he's probably going to make playoffs too, but now with him quitting out in the third quarter, he gets a two-game automatic losing streak, which means he's going to be at 7-6, and six, which he might not make the playoffs with that record. Bad decision, buddy. Should have stuck it out and taken the ass beating. See you later. See you next season. Actually, there is no next season. We won't be seeing you at all. Peace.